All right, welcome to All I Must TV. Yeah, we are again. My name is Jake Anemo. In case you thought I've forgotten my name, this is All I Must TV where we learn mathematics all the time. Here we have a challenge on the board. The question says simplify without calculator. So, how do we simplify this expression here? The expression says the square root of 5 minus 2 root 6 plus the square root of 3 minus 2 root 2 plus the square root of 7 minus 2 root 12. How do we simplify this without the use of the calculator? It's easy. But before we go into this challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop an amazing video like the one you're about to watch here right now. The reason why you have to subscribe is because in this channel, we drop amazing video all the time, wonderful video all the time on mathematical um, challenges, okay? The different approaches we apply in solving uh, different international math competition. So that is the reason why you have to subscribe so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. Straightforward, let's go to the board. So from here, we take our solution without much waste of time. Because in mathematics, we try to conserve time. We put down the question. The question says the square root of 5 minus 2 to the square root of 6, all right, plus here we have the square root of your 3 minus 2 to the square root of 2, the plus the square root of 7, okay, minus 2 into the square root of 12. Good. Now, look at what I want to do here now. Remember, we have been asked to simplify this without the use of the calculator. Now, if you look at this, you'll discover that we are having two roots something here, two roots something here, two roots something here. So, let's be crazy at this point now. And let's think very fast. Um, there is a special algebraic identity you know if we have something like this if you have x minus y r r squared this is equal to your x squared minus 2 x y plus y squared you remember something like this now if you look carefully from here now we are having um two year two year two year Okay, so if we succumb to this algebraic identity, because the idea of bringing this identity is this. We are having a square here, and here we are having a square root. So we want to express what we have inside this square root in this format in order to eliminate the radical here. Same thing we are going to do here so that we have a square out from here to eliminate this radical, we do the same thing to eliminate this radical. Do you get the picture? All right. So what we do, we take note of this root 6. We also take note of this root 2. We take note of this root 12. So let's work on this. How do we get this now? In other words, let's take the first one. The first one, we're going to write your 5 minus 2 root 6 in this form we want to express it in this form that will now lead to this form so how do we get this okay it is easy all we need to do is to look for the factors of root six let's quickly look at the factors of root six okay mind you we say we're looking at your x y so your x y is inside this root six Okay, so look at your x, y here. It's inside this uh, root 6 here. So let's put here your x and let's put here your y. So if we have this from our root 6, root 6 can uh, be split into 1 times root 6. This will give us root 6. Okay, at the same time, we can equally have root 6 times 1. Okay, this will equally give us root 6. And we can equally have this as um, root 3 times root 2. 
then we can equally have root 2 times root 3. Either of these factors, if we multiply the out, we're going to have something like this. We're going to have uh, uh, root 6 from this. So let's pick the one that where we plug it into this system, which is our x minus y, if we plug it into the system and we simplify, it will give us this expression here. Now, if you work it out, this will not give us the needed expression. This will not give us the needed expression. But if you check out this, this will give us the needed expression. At the same time, this will also give us the needed expression. But here, we're having your x minus y. In other words, we want to assume or believe that your x to be greater than y. So if x is greater than y, okay, if x is um, uh, greater, sorry, is greater than y, then we're going to make use of root 3 times root 2. And so we cannot express the whole of this as our your um, root 3 minus root 2 r squared. This you have here now is this. If you go ahead to open this because of time constraint, but let's check it out. If we will open this, it will give us this. Let's try it out here. All right. So from here, we have your root 3 minus root 2 bracket root 3 minus root 2. So if we open up this, this will give us root 9 then this time this will give us minus root 6 then this uh will come to this side this time this will give us minus root 6 then this time this will give us plus root 4. okay so automatically we have here to be 3 minus minus root 6 minus root 6 will give us minus 2 root 6 then plus 2. if we add this and this together this will give us 5 minus 2 root 6. Look at what I just said now. The expression we have here now is what we have here now. And so this expression is derived from this. So that is the beauty of it, or that is the, uh, that is the idea of the whole thing. Okay? So what we have here now, which is what we have here now, was to be expressed in this form. And I'll show you the mechanism on how to um, get the factors from here and see the one that will fit into um, uh, this system. All right, so with this again, let's go ahead and look for that of 2 root 2. So we have here your 3 minus 2 root 2. This is equal to, again, we look for the factors of root 2. So let's erase this and quickly look for the factors of root 2. So the factors of root 2 we have here, Let's take our x and our y. Root 2 could be gotten as 1 times root 2. And if we alternate this, then this will give us root 2 times 1. <laughs> very easy. This one is very simple to get. So we are taking this. We are taking this. Okay? So if we are taking this, in other words, we're going to have this to be your root 2 there. A minus 1 r squared. So if we open up this, we go to come up with this. Again, we can verify this. Here we have um, your root root 2 minus 1 or e to root 2 minus 1. If we open up, we have root 4 minus root 2 minus root 2. Then um, here we have plus 1. So this will give us 2 minus 2 root 2 plus 1. If you add 1 to this, we give you 3 minus 2 root 2. So you discover that this, when simplified or when um, open up, we go to have this. So we take the next one, which is 7 root 7 minus um, 2 root 12. So we have here 7 minus 2 root 12. How do we express it in this format? Again, let's go ahead and bring out all the factors of your uh, root 12. Okay? 
So let's erase this again. Okay, so we have here root 12, we have our x and we have our y here. So we can split root 12 to give us here 1 root 12 and root 12 and 1. Then we can equally have this to be um, root 3 and root 4. There we can equally have this to be root 4 and root 3. At the same time, we can equally have this to be root um, 6, uh, root uh, 2. There we can equally have this to be root 2, the root 6. Okay, is there any other factor to this? All right, so these are the major factors we have for our um, root digs. So among these factors of your root um, 12, we want to pick the one that when we simplify it, is going to give us digs. Now, if you walk through digs, we give you what we want. Okay, so if you use digs, it will give us what we want. And so, 7 minus 2 root 12 could also be written as bracket your root 4, then minus root 3 all squared. Good. So, we've gotten what we want here now. Everything in here, everything in here has been simplified in this form. So, we can go ahead and put in all this in place of what we have in here. So, let's proceed on this side of the board now. Okay, so let's erase this. All right. So, let's put in this into our expression. So, the first one we have the square root of in place of this, what we put there, we put down this guy here. So, we have your bracket, your root 3 minus root 2 r squared okay let's cover it well r squared then the next one we have here plus your root what do we have there we have root 2 in bracket minus 1 r squared and the next one what do we have there we have um is it plus we have plus here so plus we have here root of what we have here bracket square root of 4 minus the square root of 3 plus bracket all squared okay easy now the radicals can be handled now without stress so this radical goes with this radical this goes with this this radical goes with this and this goes with this okay so we are now exposed with this so this now implies your root 3 minus root 2 plus or plus here root 2 minus 1 plus here we have root 4 minus root 3 very easy Mind you, your root 4 is 2. So we can equally put 2 here to uh, replace our root 4. So if we rewrite this, we're going to have this to be your root 3 minus root 2 plus root 2 minus 1 plus your 2 minus our root 3. So let's look at this. We have here plus root 3, and here we are having minus root 3. So this, this will leave. We are having minus root 2 and plus root 2 here. So this, this will leave. So we are now left with what? Minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2 will give us 1. So we have this to be equal to 1 as our final answer. Okay. All right. So this marks the end of this simplification without the use of calculator yeah we have a radical we have radical inside so whenever you have expression of this kind apply this approach and you are good to go if you have enjoyed or if you gained something from this challenge give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section 
it could be thanks Jill. it could be oh you made an error in solving um social point or a social point you made some mistake we are good at um taking to corrections okay because yeah we are here to learn even as we are here to give our best to also dish out our skill or our not our knowledge um to other people remember this is all i must tv and my name remains jakes anemo i love you do you know why because you are always there you've proven to us that you love us so there is no doubt that you don't love us you love us from your actions so far and we appreciate the love you've shown so far so far and that's why we promise to give our best in our service to you we want to serve you better thanks for always be there bye for now